Hello, and welcome to Charter's Local Edition. I'm your host, Lori Farkas. We're in Cheyenne, Wyoming, talking to lawmakers today about issues that are important to you. And joining us now is the new mayor of Cheyenne, Mayor Marion Orr. Hello. Nice How does that you. sound? Are it, you so excited? I'm still getting used to it. It's yeah. really exciting. It was Absolutely. a hard-fought battle. It was. Lots of door-to-door. -door. Mm -hmm. Lots of dogs, lots of no <laughs> door-knocking. It was great. It was yeah, great. everybody worked so hard in that election. And you've just basically been inaugurated and taken office, taken the oath of office. Tell me a little bit about some of your experiences your first days. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, it's. I've been very, very busy uh, the, the first three weeks. We, um, My uh, uh, assistant Holly and I walked in and and kind of looked around and, and figured out where the pens and pencils were and how to answer the phone and some of the, the details. But um, on day one, I announced my Fight the Blight Task Force mm -hmm. that I had spoken about um, during the campaign. And uh, throughout the campaign and listening to people, uh, neighbors and, and uh, members of the community really started reaching out to me via Facebook and complaining about um, abandoned homes that had been broken into, where mm -hmm. um, criminal activity was taking place, drug deals were going down. Mm. And um, while it's certainly important to recognize private property rights, um, you start to cross that fine line as mm -hmm. far as when does your property right start intruding on mine. And, and Quality of um, life. Exactly, yeah. quality of life and, and true public safety issues. Mm -hmm. And so I um, assembled this, this team of realtors and um, attorney and um, developers, mm -hmm. um, just people in the community that are really going to take a look at our codes mm -hmm. and whether or not um, we have what we need on the books to enforce um, some of these really problematic areas, or do we need um, to maybe ramp it up and put some more, more some more teeth in it? But mm -hmm. the committee is actually getting together um, next week for their first meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to take a look at some some different properties around town that have really um, been blighted for some time mm -hmm. and uh, start to really tackle the issue. If someone has a blight issue. What do they do? Do they call your office? Right. So what we're going draw, to do is draw your attention to exactly. It? So calling the office. Um, people have been, of course, reaching out on on Facebook. I believe we're going to set up a special email account mm -hmm. um, that can go to this uh, the committee for them to to take a look at um, at various properties. And then uh, I'm working with our planning and development office, and um, we are looking at actually. Uh, creating a revolving loan mm -hmm. that would be available to developers where um, if some of these properties uh, possibly have contamination from um, you know a, an earlier uh, industrial mm -hmm. site or something that they can actually apply for a very low interest loan oh, that's great. through the city uh -huh. and, and uh, help out with remediation. Yeah, oh, very creative way to solve a problem that people didn't really know what to do with before. Right. So right. Um, we've got not a lot of time and a ton of issues to talk about. Talk to me a little bit about the six penny um, taxes and um, some of the proposals that are on the table and why they're important. Boy, the six penny is so critical for, um, for Laramie County in our community. And um, I've been working with leadership in the council and while the planning started last spring, throughout the election it became very clear that uh, voters really are concerned about their roads. And mm -hmm. so I worked with um, I worked with every member actually of the council and explained that I really wanted to see some road projects on there. And so we um, did a little bit of, of slicing and dicing and yeah. um, we took off uh, part of the downtown core program. But what um, we're trying to articulate to the community is that the city is very committed to downtown and we are actually working um, with the developer of the Heinz and that parking mm -hmm. situation in the whole. Yeah. And it will take a, a significant uh, contribution from the city. So we are committed to, to downtown. And then with the Belvoir, I've actually been having some very exciting talks with um, with the state, mm -hmm. with uh, state parks and cultural resources. Oh, great. Possibly pulling in the University of Wyoming mm -hmm. and looking at a real partnership um, and, and actually a landowner that would actually, uh, if, if negotiations work out, we could actually have access. So right wow. now, um, until the That's Union famous. Pacific, yeah, yeah, until the Union Pacific signs off on, on, uh, on the, the, the requests that we have had for access, which mm -hmm. Boy, if you think that's government tough. <laughs> is slow, yeah, working with with Union Pacific, it's that's you know obviously for safety issues, mm -hmm. that's a that's a really large deal. So we might actually have um, the opportunity to have access here without the cost of that two point plus million mm -hmm. dollars um, that was being proposed. So we scaled that off and um, have that going towards roads. 
All right. Um, talk to me a little bit more about downtown growth, because I know that's on everybody's issue, and they would like to see that area become revitalized. I think we're on a good track. Um, what are some of the things on the horizon? I do, too. Well, I um, certainly have a member from the DDA that's on the Blight Task Force to address issues um, within the downtown area specific. But we are really excited in that we believe that um, a tenant is in the works for the Heinz Building, mm -hmm. and that's such a critical yes. piece of, of real estate for us to get going. And of course, I've been in uh, in talks with Leeds as far as the whole and um, whether or not parking will be a, a, a solvable situation down there, mm -hmm. or again, just opening up that land for other development. Yeah. But downtown really is is critical to a community, especially ours. Mm -hmm. And I think we're on a good track. I do too. It's well, we'll look forward to talking to you in another few months and see what's developed. Absolutely. All right. It's been great visiting with you today. Thank you. We've been talking to Mayor Orr, the new mayor of Cheyenne, and you've been watching Charter's Local Edition, and we'll see you next time.